Throughout human history, the moon has captivated and fascinated many observers, from astronomers to philosophers to modern-day stargazers. And the subject of the existence of water and minerals on the moon has been the topic of interest for many celestial seekers for a very long time. The evidence of resources on the lunar surface was definitively discovered after humans walked on the moon. And today this awareness makes the moon an ideal destination for colonization. In view of the resources discovered and an accelerated push by the White House, NASA has made plans to orbit the moon in 2024 with a landing schedule for 2025 using the SLS Orion spacecraft in cooperation with SpaceX, Blue Origin, and the Lunar Gateway. As technology advances and the cost of rockets continue to fall, more companies than ever before are poised to gain access to valuable lunar resources. One of the companies making strides is Florida-based Moon Express, the first privately owned company to receive approval from the U.S. government to complete a space mission beyond Earth's orbit in accordance with the International Space Law and the Outer Space Treaty. The company aims to become the first private entity to land a spacecraft on the moon and return lunar samples to Earth. Then there's iSpace Incorporated, a Tokyo-based company that launched the Hakutu-R Mission 1 on December 11, 2022. But unfortunately, the lunar lander lost contact before it reached the surface while analysis of the data from the vehicle suggests it ran out of propellant during its final approach and was unable to successfully land on the moon's surface. Then there's Blue Origin, which is working with NASA to develop a reusable rocket and a lander called Blue Moon. The company is also still in the running to become the first privately owned company to land a craft on the moon. And finally, the leading company, SpaceX, is developing a reusable rocket and spacecraft called Starship that is scheduled to work alongside the SLS Orion spacecraft. It will carry astronauts to and from the lunar surface to the Gateway Space Station built by NASA, and it's planned for November 2025. The lunar landing starship will be designed to carry humans and cargo to the moon and back. Today, as the U.S. moves forward to expand and grow the space program, there will be a need to send many astronauts, engineers, scientists, and other critical support personnel who will establish a permanent lunar presence. These personnel will have the opportunity not only to colonize the moon, but to be trained to mine the lunar surface as well. Their collective efforts will continue to support and lend credence to some of history's major discoveries and research related to resources found on the moon, including the Apollo missions from 1969 to 1972, which landed on the moon and collected lunar samples. According to NASA, some of these samples contain traces of water but it was unclear whether they were native to the moon or contaminated by water from the Earth. And more recently in 2008, Indian spacecraft Chandrayaan-1, which detected signatures of water molecules on the lunar surface using an infrared spectrometer. This confirmed the findings of the Apollo lunar missions. Then there is the Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite Mission, or LACROSSE, which crashed a rocket into a crater in 2009 near the lunar south pole and detected vast amounts of water vapor. Followed by the NASA Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which mapped the distribution of water ice in the polar regions of the moon and found that it's more abundant and widespread than previously expected. And following this expedition in 2020, NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or SOFIA, confirmed the presence of water molecules on the lunar surface. While in 2020, Chinese researchers analyzed lunar samples returned by the Chang'e 5 mission 
and discovered tiny glass beads in the lunar soil which contained a significant amount of fluid indicating a hidden source of water on the moon. NASA is working with many of these companies to coordinate the collection of space resources designated to fuel a new era of exploration and discovery that will benefit all of humanity. Additionally, NASA hopes to send astronauts to the South Pole where water is abundant in the form of ice in permanently shadowed craters. Overall, the moon is replete with oxygen, hydrogen, and other precious resources. The moon's location makes it the perfect stopping and refueling point for the long journey to Mars and the rest of the solar system. Without a clear and succinct legislation available on the lunar resources, it makes it even more important for America to soon develop a permanent presence on the moon while continuing to lead the effort to Mars and beyond that no doubt will serve to benefit all of humankind. Thank you for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe.